So how many guys watched the podcast yesterday? Did you guys see the part where everybody freaked out about my suggestion? It was basically the only thing I said. Honestly, I was trying to do my best just to listen to Nikita and let everybody else talk because I've been on a lot of Tarkov podcasts. Been on a lot of Tarkov podcasts. I was just trying to hang back and listen. I wasn't trying to talk too much because I know I'm very passionate about EFT and I can get very carried away and like cut people off and stuff like that because I get very excited because I love talking about Tarkov. I really do. I love this game. But I, 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 they were talking about thermals and Nikita was like, we're going to add like, you know, 10 different thermals to the game. And I'm like, oh, what about, you know, a stimulant that makes it to where, you know, you don't be seen on thermals for a couple minutes. Nothing crazy. It has negative side effects, you know, you plummet all of your energy, all of your hydration. And chat was like, <laughs> it's like, dude, we can surgery our body after getting shot in the field with no painkillers. We can jack a stimulant in our body already that regenerates all our fucking imaginable HP points. We have stimulants that magically stop bleeding. We have stimulants that make it so you can sprint and run around with a hundred fucking kilos. We have stimulants that basically literally reduce damage. And yet a stimulant in which makes it to where you just don't get seen on a thermal is somehow out of this world. You understand what I'm saying? And the thing is, it doesn't fucking matter what Reddit thinks. It doesn't matter what a majority of the community you know thinks. How eats the booty. It doesn't matter what anybody fucking thinks. All that matters is that I've been friends with Nikita for a very long time. I've made some mistakes within our friendship. And I have owned up to those and I've corrected them. He respects my opinion. The guys at Battlestate respect my opinion because they know I've been here since the beginning. They know I've done so much for their game. More than probably a lot of you guys know. I've done so much for this fucking game, and I'm proud to say that. Not just as somebody who streamed it on my own channel, but have networked and got some of the biggest influencers interested in Escape from Tarkov during its early years. They respect my opinion, and they know that I see the game the same way Battlestate does as this hardcore battle simulation game within hazardous environments that's supposed to make you feel these emotions. It's not supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be an experience which makes you feel something sensation of loss that sensation of gain just like watching a movie a set like look at interstellar for example great movie right made you feel a bunch of different emotion was it a happy oh everything's great nah, no that movie was kind of like it was an emotional roller coaster that's what tarkov is it's all about immersion it's no longer about realism a lot of people who come to me and tell me oh clean well you're the realism cuck you're always claiming realism those guys haven't watched my stream in years you guys know me, I don't use the realism buzzword anymore. It's authenticity, which I got from Sakuril, and it's immersion. Those are the two buzzwords I like to use now. Authenticity and immersion. If something is realistic and adds the authenticity into the realism of the experience, it should be in the game. However, if it does not, it should not be in the game, like pooping and pissing. That's realistic, but why would we waste our time doing that in a game like Tarkov? However, Obviously, there's no, there's probably no drug out there that can make your body, like, fucking lower its body temperature. I mean, actually, I'm probably sure there is. There's a lot of drugs out there. But a lot of the lore of Escape from Tarkov is Terror Group Labs has this fucking laboratory where they're doing crazy experiments. And they have these crazy fucking drugs that they're making. So, outside of the realm of possibility, having a stimulant that makes it to where your body is colder so where you can't be seen on a fucking thermal is not that big of a deal. And all that matters is Nikita noted it down. And, uh, you know, it may or may not be in the game. And I don't, I don't really care if it does. Should probably put the, the fucking knee-jerk reaction that a lot, of, a lot of people have. I'm not saying you guys specifically, but a lot of people have in the community. Um, you guys need to calm down with that. Tarkov, the way it is right now, is going to change. And it's going to change for the better, I hope. It's going to be a lot different than what it is now. The current metas that we have, the current weapons that are the best weapons right now, the current loot spawns and stuff like that that are the best for loot, they're not going to be like that forever. And you guys have to understand that we need to adapt to these changes and we shouldn't just have a knee-jerk negative reaction just when something changes the game differently. Like uh, my favorite example of this is the weight system. The weight system came in and I thought it was a little bit too punishing, but then they made it way too fucking easy because all you fuckers bitched about it. Not you guys specifically, but just all you fuckers in the generalizing Tarkov community. Y'all bitched about it because you're like, I can't wipe five mans anymore and stack five backpacks and stuff all of the fucking gear inside the plate carrier and then min max my loot and get out of the raid. Mm. Now I can do that. Now I'm slow. 
This is dumb. It was such a unique feature and it's gonna change back. I'll tell you guys that right now. The weight system is gonna change back and it's gonna be a lot fucking better because it finally is gonna introduce checks and balances to gameplay and what you bring into a raid. All right, see now let's see like the fucking uh, VAC ban that guy. Obviously, you're just a toxic little shit with a fucking pea brain. You have no idea what it means to give constructive criticism without being a fucking entitled asshole on the internet. Get the fuck over yourself and I hope you have a wonderful day. Truly, I really do. Because obviously, something that I suggested on a podcast is so fucking upsetting to you and makes you so fucking mad down to the core that you need to come here and spread more toxicity. I really fucking feel bad for you. That you need to that it's that big of a fucking deal that a mere suggestion for a stimulant now like rattles your core and that is such an important thing to you i fucking feel bad for you i really do and i hope you have a wonderful day honestly holy shit man adapt to these changes guys stop just having these knee-jerk reactions where you complain just try and be like okay take a step back all right this is what bsg did let's try and adapt these changes and see how it goes let's see how it goes Let's see how things change, all right? And then after, you know, a couple weeks, you know, then we can be like, hey, okay, this part of this feature is not super good. Let me give you a nice, educated, thorough bit of feedback about why it should be maybe a bit different or why it should change. Instead of being, this thing's fucking stupid. Oh, I hate it. Rebel, 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 rebel. Because that's what ends up happening. And you guys start jerking each other off and shitting down each other's throats. Fucking, yeah, this feature sucks. Oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Nikita about to say they don't know what they're doing. You know, they fucking created this game, you know, five years ago. But obviously, I know more because I bought it and play it. So they, you know, they don't fucking know. They, they programmed it, but I know more. Please, like, be real and fucking honest, man. All right, that's the end of the rant. I'm sorry. I just needed to get that out of my system because, like, I care about this game. I care about this community. And I, I've, I've hated seeing it turn into this downward spiral, spiral like shithole of just edgelord fucking entitled fucks who get so riled up uh, of a mere suggestion for a stim in a game that's already completely unrealistic. That's it. I just, I want the community to be healthy. I want the community to be uh, supportive of each other. I want the community to give good feedback and, and give constructive criticism that's not entitled or being an asshole. All right. I, I do have a bit of an ego when, when it comes to, you know, a lot of my feedback for Tarkov, but I back that ego up by time and experience put in this fucking game. I've been playing this shit for so fucking long. I've had very deep connections with the developers who have literally told me, damn, Clean, you understand my game. You understand the vision of Tarkov, and that is why I listen to you. They've told me this personally. Guys from Battlestate multiple times. They're just like, dude, you get it, and this is why we take your feedback so seriously, because we, we really agree with the things that you say. Not saying that any of you guys can't do the same thing, but a, a good majority of everybody, all you guys do is just kind of circle jerk complain and shit down each other's throats without any proper constructive and educated feedback on whatever the hell you're talking about. It's just, this is bad, I want it to be this. Change it. Oh, it's shit now, I'm gonna quit the game. So anyway, over with the rant. Thanks for listening. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful fucking day. We're gonna play some Tarkov, it's gonna be a great time. We're gonna do scav gangs and stuff. You guys should subscribe with Twitch Prime because I'm seeing way too many white crowns with a blue outline in chat. Come on, man. That was a pretty good rant. And I, I need some energy from that, boys. And that energy is Twitch Prime. Let's get me back up to 4,000 subs. Come on, man.